Good afternoon. On behalf of the Journey Hospice and Quaint's Mill team, we would like to thank, of you, thank all of you for taking the time to commune with us today. It has been an honor for all of us to be of service to all of your loved ones and to your family in ensuring that your loved ones have the dignity and care in the final moments of their lives. When we opened Journey Hospice North in 2020, the entire world closed and retreated to their homes because of the pandemic. Journey Hospice has since grown because of your support and your generosity. But sometimes, through the business of our daily lives, it's really difficult to reflect and to really go through what we experience together, you know, as a community. The staff are all here today because we want to take that time, you know, to truly honor and remember um, together as, you know, a real community. Every single Crane's Mill and Journey Hospice patient and family member that we met truly touched our lives. And for that, we are now different. Just like the beautiful season of fall, we have had the chance to meet our patients when they are most beautiful in their real majestic colors as a person and as a human being. And for that, we are so grateful for the opportunity. They have touched our lives. And now we want to take the time to honor, remember, and celebrate them. I would like to personally thank my staff and my team for persevering in their service, even if we all experience a loss of our own. But today we want to thank you for allowing Journey Hospice and Crane's Mill to care for your loved ones, and most importantly, for taking the moment of your day to come together in our day and moment of remembrance. Thank you. The call, call to remembrance. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Our steps are made firm by the Lord when he delights in our way. Though we stumble, we shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds us by his hand. And the prayer, I ask that we pray in unison. There we go. We pray together. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen to your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you stand with us in the shadows, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Amen. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And then a reading from Isaiah, chapter 41, verses 8 to 10. 
But you, O Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the offspring of Abraham, my friend, you whom I took from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest corners, saying to you, You are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast you off. Fear not, I am with, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The poem, Knowing What I Know About Heaven, that will be read by Kendra Green. Knowing what I know about heaven. I bet the trumpets played and the angels sang every sweet refrain of amazing grace. And that heaven's hand opened up the gate and the children danced. And when they saw your face, as happy as they were to see you coming, I was just as sad to have to watch you go. Knowing what I know about heaven, believing that you're all the way home, knowing that you're somewhere better, is all I need to let you go. I could hope that I could pray you back, but why on earth would I do that when you're somewhere life and love never ends, knowing what I know about heaven? Where every single voice makes a joyful noise, how sweet the sound when the saints rejoice to every broken heart and every wounded soul, new life begins on streets of gold, where every tear is raining here from my eyes. I know the sun is shining where you are, knowing what I know about heaven, believing that you're all the way home, knowing that you're somewhere better is all I need to let you go. I could hope that I could pray you back, but why on earth would I do that when you're somewhere Life and love never ends, knowing what I know about heaven. Uh, thank you. Give me a minute. We will set up for the hymn, Amazing Grace.
A poem. Okay. A poem. We remember them. At the rising sun and at its going down, we remember them. At the blowing of the wind and the chill of winter, we remember them. At the opening of the buds and at the rebirth of spring, we remember them. At the blueness of the skies and at the warmth of summer, we remember them. At the rustling of the leaves and at the beauty of the autumn, we remember them. At the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. As long as we live and they too will live, for they are now a part of us, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have decisions that are difficult to make, we remember them. When we have joy we crave to share, we remember them. When we have achievements that are based on theirs, we remember them. For as long as they live, they too will live. For they are now part of us, we remember them. And now we will truly remember them. We're going to be reading the names. We'll start with the names from uh, those that we have worked with in Journey Hospice from January 21 through September 22. We'll, we'll read them. I'll read the first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we'll do, we'll give a little bit of time just as we remember, okay? And then once we get through the list, then if anyone has any memories of them that they would like to share, we'll open it up for that time, and I'll bring the microphone around that you can share. So, and you can follow along as you have it in the program. Gertrude Altman, Sandra Amalfi, Rita Ambiel, Joan Backman, Sister Mary Lou Bauman, Gladys Burrell, Rita Bodner, Sister Elizabeth Boyle, Donald Carpenter, Emilia Cavuto, Janice Kolminski, Dorothy Clark, Louis, or Louise Collins, Sister Margaret Confoy, Sister Agnes Craig, David Craig, Gertrude Cotinillo, Vita Del Russo, Mary Dino, Father Eugene Durchak, 
This is the one okay. right here. This is the one. Got it. <laughs> Doris Fenn, Carmen Fichette, Camilla Fleming, Frederick Forche, Sally Foster, Joseph Fugazi, Muriel Goldberg, Eleanor Hebert, Anne Highfill, Joyce Hawk, Arlene Jonak, Dale Julik, Betsy Langley, Elaine Lieb, Sister Patricia Mahoney, Arthur Mankin, Anne Mann, Christian Martin, Virgie McNeil, Kenneth Metzler. Sister Margaret Meyer, Muriel Mota, Miriam Page, Ruth Pursley, Jean Perna, Olympia Preziosi, Father George Riley, John Restrick, Margaret Rich, Ilona Rahoni, Jane Saylor, Sylvia Schuster, Kusum Shah, Murray Sternberg, Joan Strober, Anna Weigel, Priscilla Witt, Eileen Zisk. We also remember those that passed away here at Cranes Mill from May to September. Elvira Harding, Anne Highfill, Edith Jacquin, Howard Levine, Samuel Reynolds, and Jim Soderland. Sister Agnes Gregory Craig. She is the one 
who made me an Irishman. <laughs> you may not have known that, that I'm Irish, okay? But uh, during uh, last year, uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, we did a live, we had a worship service, but before that, I had uh, put on YouTube videos like, like we did here, but they were Irish music, it was Irish music, Irish religious music. And afterwards, she gave me a call and said, I make you an honorary Irish man. <laughs> so, remember, remember for other people to remember. I would like to remember Betsy Langley. She was a wonderful friend, a wonderful neighbor, and uh, I really loved her and I miss her. I would like to remember Ilona Rahoney. Ilona is the lady who did not want us. And at some point, we did not want her. But let me tell you, that woman touched every one of us. I hope she's at peace, and I hope she's found her love. I hope her cats are surrounding her, and she's continuing smoking. That is really what she wants to do. I hope she is. Now, the, the names that we, that we have just read are not the only people that we remember. I'm sure that of you here, there may be other people that you also remember. And this is an opportunity to remember them as well. So anyone wish to remember either the names that we have read or others? I wait patiently for my husband and my daughter, who I know, I know up there waiting for me. And I be happy the day that I'll be with them in heaven. Thank you. Anyone else? I am going to be missing my mom during the nine months she passed away. And at the same time, I want to thank Journey Hospice for all that they did for me when I was home. Thank you. All of these memories that we have, those that we have expressed, those that we expressed privately with one another, and those that we uh, that we have only in our hearts and that we communicate to God. We think about them, and may God bless them. We now we now uh, continue with a prayer again, a prayer in unison. Please pray with me. O oh God, we remember with thanksgiving those who have loved and served you on earth and now rest from their labors. Keep us in union with all your saints and bring us with them to the joyous feast of heaven. Amen. A reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. For every 
For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Praise be to God. I am learning how to live. I am learning how to live in a new way since that day you were taken away. I am learning how to live with the things left unsaid, knowing I got to say them with every tear that I shed. I am learning how to live by embracing the pain, knowing that you live on through the memories that remain. I am learning how to live, knowing I will never again see your face. And I have peace knowing you are in a better place. Amen. Again, please pray with me. Gracious Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings that you've given to your servants. We pray, dear Lord, that you just be with us as we are here. Though we truly miss them, we know, dear Lord, that you are the one who is in control, and it is your love that sustains us, and it is your love that keeps them in our memory, but most importantly, it is your love that brings them to you. We pray, gracious Lord, that you would help us to continue on, on our path, continue in the love that you've given to us, and that we may be a blessing to the people in our lives, that as we receive comfort from one another, we also may give comfort to those in our lives. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. And benediction. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, according to Isaiah 66. And then the blessing from Aaron. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.